Okay, before we talk about the E-Roll, we'll just uh, show you what's in the box very quickly. Let me open it on up. This is, of course, made by Joytech. Um, commonly, you're going to see this in a lot of the Joytech products now. Uh, this is a warranty card, but it also has the... Uh, the numbers, the digits that you would want to uh, plug into Joytech.com to make sure that you got the genuine OEM uh, Joytech product. Not a worry here at ZSIGs, but you do have that in there. Of course, uh, now we reveal the PCC, the personal charging case. Personal charging case uh, works pretty simply. It opens on up. It accepts the uh, battery right there, the full battery, and that's really nice. That's a new thing on this uh, particular unit that you're looking at, the old school ways where you had to separate the battery from the unit to uh, charge it on up. Uh, what's kind of nice with this too is this pops right on in here. The unit that you see, you have a little button that will pop the top end of the uh, e-sig unit out, making it easier to pull it on out there. This is a 1000 mAh unit, so that's pretty substantial as far as battery life between recharges. On the bottom, it reveals the uh, mini USB uh, charge point. You can charge this uh, in any USB point or a uh, wall charger, so in your vehicle, in your car, uh, any computer, uh, or of course use the wall adapter that is included with this. You can plug it through a wall uh, uh, electrical socket. Uh, we also have two LED uh, lights that are on this. They are not illuminated right now. One uh, goes blue and that is when you actually have a unit in here charging. The other one is when you're charging the physical unit itself. It goes uh, from red to green once it's charged. This is lithium ion, so you don't have to worry about um, leaving it on the charger too long or anything like that. It automatically shuts down and everything's good to go. A lot of the older PCC units for electronic cigarettes, you couldn't charge the battery or the e-cig unit and the PCC at once. Uh, in this case, on this unit, you can charge both at once, so that is very, very nice with this. So like I said, this is your PCC unit in there. Uh, off to the uh, other side of the box, you have what appears to be an entire e-cig unit, e-roll unit. This is missing the atomizer head that is uh, located further into the box but what it is showing you here is a cartridge the atomizer holder housing and then of course you have the uh, battery that you're looking at all right lift that off you have a owner's manual atomizer heads i was just talking about you have two atomizer heads there they are there's one there's two we'll get into that in a minute uh, what else is in the box is right here. This is your USB cord that we were just speaking of with the mini USB line. And then hidden over here is a AC USB wall charger. So that's kind of nifty. Can't forget about the extra battery. There is an extra battery that is located right here. And you have two of the uh, empty cartridges. So this is shipped with no e-liquid in it. You get to put whatever e-liquid that you want into this unit that you're looking at. I'm going to take one that's been fully assembled. And now we're just going to talk about the E-Roll itself. As far as an automatic unit that is the same size of a cigarette, in my opinion, this is the best you can get currently right now in the industry. Now, let me stress that for the size of the e-cig that it is. I would promote this to somebody who smokes only um, you know, a handful of cigarettes per day. If it was, uh, especially uh, for the ladies, uh, especially a smaller frame where you don't have a huge lung capacity, I mean, that does influence things. I mean, you're looking at somebody who might have twice the lung capacity. Uh, those inhales uh, will dictate some of the, uh, the differences of what they're going to feel for that vapor. So on this unit that we have right here, we open it on up and it reveals the e-cig. This is a sleek design. I must admit, as far as e-cigs go, this is one of the sleekest designs that I've seen. It's very easy to carry. Um, one of the things that a lot of people did not like about automatic units that didn't have the button, they would accidentally go off, things of that nature. The way that this system is designed and your, your workaround to a lot of the inherent flaws of a very small unit like this, I mean, look how small that is. It's like a cigarette size. Uh, number one is the on-demand charging. So this is meant to be used and then when you're not puffing on it you put it right back in there click it in close it and it's charging now you want to take another drag you pop it on out and you can take a few more drags so it's an on-demand charge it doesn't have to sit there and charge all the way up and then uh, get depleted you can charge this on demand that's a great workaround for this small battery life that allows a user to have a very small unit enjoy it and still have some battery life there why I'm kind of stressing that as far as um, somebody who's not an extremely heavy user or this could be a perfect unit as a secondary unit. Um, some of us will have quite a few different uh, units in our collection. It depends on what you're doing. Um, 
Some people don't want to be walking around with a very large unit when they're in certain social situations. I completely understand that. So this is a nice unit, the way that it uh, works as far as that goes. If you are a very heavy user, though, be forewarned, you may blow out of your atomizers a little bit quicker than somebody who um, is a little bit easier on this. They're only used to having a few, like a few cigarettes, I mean, three to five cigarettes per day. Uh, this is something that I could really see being beneficial for people. Now, this is a tank design. So what that means is the cartridge is made as a tank cartridge. They're very easy to, full, uh, to fill. They take about enough liquid to match two to three cigarettes uh, in that kind of a range uh, before you have to refill. Some people say it's a little bit longer. Some people say a little bit less. I, I always like to be on the, uh, the shorter side of things, two to three cigarettes in that range. Um, it's very easy to fill. Uh, you just take any kind of a needle tip uh, bottle, you stick it right there in there, and you fill it on up. If you don't have a needle tip bottle, there are little tabs on here and you can actually pull this piece off and fill it that way. However, I would say invest in a very inexpensive empty needle tip bottle because as you're doing that, you can cause some problems with the plastic and it not uh, fitting correctly. That could uh, lead into some of your leak, uh, leaking issues and you don't want that. So farther on down here is where the actual atomizer head is and I'm going to take this off. Now with this, a lot of e-cigs are designed where they have um, screws, where they'll actually go on in. This is a channel lock type of a system, and what I mean by that is you'll notice right there um, that you do have a channel lock and you have two little dimples on this. It goes in and just turns slightly, that's how it works. So here we're going to pull out the atomizer head. Another nice thing with this is this atomizer head, this is called the Type A by Joytech. This not only works in the E-Roll, but it also works in the uh, E-Cab. It also works in the Ego C, and it works in that what's called an ECA atomizer, which is a top end for the larger EVIC unit. So if we were talking about before where you have a couple of different units, it's kind of nice because now you're only dealing with one heating element, one atomizer head to separate. So that's kind of nice with this. And then of course you just have the battery. So it is a very simple unit to use. If you're somebody right now who's you know using blue SIGs or something to of that nature you're going to be very pleasantly surprised with this unit this is just a great unit as far as its durability um, its production its vapor production that it does have but like i say please be forewarned on this if you're a heavier smoker this particular unit just sitting on its own might not be effective enough for you um, so that is just one of the things that I would like to warn everybody about. But as far as the unit's concerned, it's a top-notch unit and a great unit to get into.